debutantes, today I am filming in my bedroom in front of my dresser because my poor sweet husband worked another 16 hour shift which means he worked all night long. He didn't get home probably till 7 or 8 o'clock this morning so he is sleeping so I'm trying to be so quiet, shh, quiet so the poor man can get some sleep. He has been working around the clock because it's hurricane season and even though we've been blessed with no hurricanes it's been raining and storming and it's just a hot mess. Anyway, I digress. Today I'm coming with you, coming with you, coming to you with a review of a product. One of the cool things about having this YouTube channel is every once in a while I will get a request to review a product and usually I will say, you know, let me look at it and if I like it I'll give a review or you know, I'll just give my honest review. So you don't see too many of these videos, but you never know what's coming up. Uh, maybe I'll get some more, who knows. So today I'm going to review this Mojave Mud. Um, a, let me see, that the a Dr. Brandon Lee Niel Nielsen, I believe, um, from Nielsen Holistic contacted me by email and asked if I would try out his product and give an honest review. So you know me, when it comes to skincare, I will try just about anything. Um, so I said, sure, why not? So he sent me this nice sample of Mojave Mud. I don't really know what the size of this is, but I checked online and you can purchase a nine and a quarter ounce jar anywhere from like nine to twelve dollars um, but the good thing is is there will be a discount code down below uh, 30 percent off for the whole week which is an amazing discount code um so i have actually already tried this out twice and i taped the second time i tried it so you could see how you mix it how you apply it and what happens and i was very happy with it so this is i just completed the mask um new ready to go makeup so you can look at my skin see what you think um something is going on with my eyes are watering but other than that it's not this i have no idea why my eyes water so i just wanted to let you know that this is the finished product i have tried it twice um which you will see later once with water and once with apple cider vinegar so i have rambled enough let's go ahead and get started and i'll show you how i use the mask the results I got and see what you think. So the first thing we need to do is mix the mask. It says on the back to mix it in a non-metallic bowl and you mix it one to one either with pure water or apple cider vinegar. The first time I used it I used water um, and I did like it so I figured I would give it a try with the apple cider vinegar because I know that has detoxifying properties. So that's what I'm going to do. Right now I'm going to mix it um, one teaspoon of mask to one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and the first time I did this I tried to mix it with the measuring yeah don't do that <laughs> it gets all it gets all caught up in the little bowl here and yeah it's not pretty and I had big clumps and not really you want your mask to be kind of a spa experience so that's what we're going to try to accomplish so then just one teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar Throw that in there. I know this is the exciting part. It looks like it's bubbling a little bit. So now we just, ooh, sizzle. We just wanna mix that all up. Make sure you get all the clumps out. Gotta love that apple cider vinegar smell. And that already looks a whole lot better than the first time I mixed it with the measuring cup, the measuring spoon. It was not pretty. So now that's how much I have. I think that's gonna be more than enough for my face. So next we're going to go ahead and apply that on our nice, clean, freshly washed skin. All right, don't be scared. This is me without makeup on. <laughs> this might be the only time you ever see me without makeup on my face. So I'm just gonna scoop this stuff into the spoon and then I'm just gonna kind of Dab it. Again, avoiding your eyes. I'm going to try and put some on my neck. I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror, so sorry I'm not looking right at you. All right, this is, I'm just going to put it in my hand. All right, here we go. I'm just going to, I got to say the apple cider vinegar. Not loving the smell, but I know it's really good for you. Rub it on. 
And I actually think the teaspoon of the mask and the apple cider vinegar was probably just the right amount. Last time I said I used a tablespoon and it was a little much. I'm gonna put it on my neck because you know, you don't want old lady neck. Get rid of that chicken neck. Okay, so we have it all on. Now it says to wait 15 to 20 minutes and you will feel it um, starting to really tighten up your skin. I have to say last time I think I left it on about 10 minutes. I could really, really feel um, the skin tightening. So I'm going to do the 15 minutes and then I'm going to wash it off. Um, last time I used a warm washcloth and wiped it off. Uh, I think I might jump back in the shower and rinse it off this next time. I just think that um, I'll get a cleaner face. Last time I had like mud in my hair and you know craziness because I think I did it at like I don't know 11 o'clock at night. Sound like a good idea at the time. So this is the next step. Just sit and let it dry. Wash your hands and then we will see. It does say that your skin could be a little red. Um, I didn't experience that with the water. We'll see what happens with the apple cider vinegar. So now I have to turn the camera off without getting mud all over the camera lens. Okay, so I'm out of the shower. I have washed all of the mud mask off. I waited till just when it finished drying and then I washed it off with some warm water, um, just lightly wiping it with a washcloth. Um, I did find it got really, really tight towards the end and a little bit uncomfortable. And I just kind of rubbed it, you know, lightly with the mask on just to, cause it was kind of itching a little bit, um, but nothing like too uncomfortable, but I definitely could not wait to get it off. It was very tight. Um, the one thing I did notice is, I don't know if you can see, I have really big pores for some reason on my chin and they do look like they have diminished a little bit. I have used this mask twice, this would be my second time. I do have a little bit of the pink skin. I did not have that when I used the water. I think the apple cider vinegar definitely helped um, cleanse and pull out yuckiness out of your skin. My skin feels very, very soft, even my neck feels very soft. Um, so, so far, I'm really, really happy with this product. Um, if you watch my videos a lot, you know that I'm crazy about my skin because I'm 45 and I want to stop the hands of time. So anything that will help me with that, sign me up. So I would recommend this product. It's Mojave Mud. There will be a discount code in the comments. I believe it's 30% off for a week. Um, that is quite a good discount for uh, product testing, so definitely check that out. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. So two thumbs up for Mojave Mud. I really did enjoy it. I would use the apple cider vinegar for sure over the water. The smell is a little off-putting, but I think it cleanses your skin a whole lot better. So I hope you enjoyed this review video. If you have not subscribed, please do. Again, any comments would be wonderful. I love to receive comments and I do try to answer them. So good luck, ladies. I hope you try this product and I would love to hear um, your results if you try it. So check out the discount code and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.